here I am joined by Sink. Hello. Well, how's it going, Sink? Ah, not too bad. I'm actually on my uh, second account, which is uh, just for me to play on on my own with, you know, just me and my credit card. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. So what, what level are you on your second account? Literally just turned level 19, while Operations 19. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's a so, brand new uh, brand new server, so luckily not major amounts of competition, so haven't joined a server with a load of like level 40s or anything, because that was kind of nice. Okay, okay. And yeah, how's that going for you? It's actually going okay, and until I bought my battle pass. Oh. Yeah. Your battle pass. Okay, so that came out a couple of days ago, right? Yeah. Um, how long ago? Was it two days ago or something? Uh, yeah, 22 days left, yeah. So an hour, well, yeah, just sort of two days roughly. Uh, but when I bought my battle pass, I was actually uh, Operation 17. Because um, mm -hmm. I just literally bought a few packs just to uh, level myself up a bit, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it was kind of interesting uh, when I bought the battle pass, and for the fact that I think first battle pass, which the Borg one, says you remember, went up to uh, tier ten, then uh, the yeah. second battle pass went up to tier fifteen, and now there's twenty tiers for the battle pass. This battle pass just keeps on increasing, eh? Uh, yeah, for the amount, I think it's um, it is a bit of a misconception to players because they're thinking, oh, like there's more tiers, that means there's more rewards, but th there isn't. Oh really? Have you have you done the numbers yet? Uh, I've done the basic uh, numbers, but I um, haven't got them on my screen right now. I should have got those up before we started this call. Um, oh, that's okay. But there's not as many rewards as you know. Sucks. Yeah, so there's not as many rewards, so that's uh, a, a bit of a downer. But the biggest downer, as uh, well as you can see on my screen, um, I've got my uh, jellyfish. It's a tier six. Um, I maxed it out for the for the tier, uh, all the XP oh, wow. for grinding, so it's like running at 36,000 strength. Now the thing is, oh, wow. if I hadn't bought that, I wouldn't be able to do the event, I don't think. So you're telling us that if you didn't buy the jellyfish, you wouldn't be able to do the battle pass? I don't think so. I mean, I've got my, wow. uh, I got my Tala uh, at uh, tier 5. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've been tearing it up quite a fair lot, a lot of grinding going on. However, with the battle pass, um, obviously the events each day that go on, they do change. And obviously for today and yesterday, yeah. we had the, uh, the so, hunt. Because with the hunt events, obviously you need to go and attack hostiles of like the factions, like, you know, the Romulans Federation, uh, the Klingons. Uh, the slight mm -hmm. problem is with that is they're level 20 plus. So these these hostiles level twenty plus. You're level nineteen, and if you didn't have this jellyfish, like where would you be at? Uh, well, I wouldn't be doing the battle pass right now because uh, I've just gone into a system. Let's have a look for a level twenty. There we go, a level twenty there. Twenty one thousand strength. Yes. Now without the jellyfish and no time, like obviously tier five on the Tala, I'm running at eighteen thousand five hundred, and obviously this is an interceptor, so my battleship is is going to be really weak compared to it so i wouldn't have been able to actually complete the battle pass without having this jellyfish that that's crazy so the fact is that you know why do they offer this battle pass to low level players like why are they doing this it's a, a definitely a very good question i mean obviously people uh, who are starting on a new server such as myself um, you know, they want to progress quick and, you know, they think that the battle pass is a good way to go. To be honest, it is a good way to go because the rewards in that are going to help you out a lot. I mean, the rewards are really good for the battle passes. I don't think anybody can dispute that, especially for the amount that actually costs. So yeah. the rewards are good, but trying to be able to do it is another question. So having a battle pass and then suddenly finding out, hang on, I'm not going to be able to destroy these uh, hostiles, these NPCs for each of the factions. Like, I mean, if I took my Tala in, I could probably take out a few of their survey ships, but then I've got yeah. a repair, and you've got the repair time, and then yeah. obviously you're going to need to speed up the repairs, but going back and forth, because um, 
it, it, that's just for one faction. Then you've got the other two factions that you need to worry about. So, okay, so this, they, ha they have this, they've introduced this battle pass, um, but there is like a kind of second tier which you can pay for. Now, um, have you done that? You know, should lower levels do that, in your opinion? Well, I mean, um, as I say, with the free, the, the battle pass, you have the free section and then you have the mm. elite battle pass, which is the one that I actually did buy. Yes, I did buy that. Um, because obviously the added rewards are a hell of a lot more. I mean, you look at the first tier, it's 37.5k pass still for myself. That's what I would yeah. get. Um, but buying the elite, I would have got uh, a, let's bring it up, a 1 million pass still token. Instantly, the reward is God knows how many times as much. Plus 187.5k pass still, 150 common refined ore, 2 star, and 2 star. Uh, uncommon refined ore so instantly the rewards just for one tier is amazing yeah it kind, kind of works out right like it, there's a lot of resources for lo the lower levels but uh yeah yeah so definitely if you know that you're going to be able to take out the hostiles um then yeah it could be a thing but you need to think about like uh, the repair times is your ship going to be able to survive it I mean, luckily with my jellyfish, I can actually do a full um, hunt, say for the Klingons, and my ship will be just under half HP, so I could go and finish, uh, well, do pretty much over half of, say, the Romulans before I need a repair, then be able to complete that and head over to Federation Space, so I only need to repair once. But that downtime is an hour and 10 minutes to repair my jellyfish. Yeah, and I bet you don't have a lot of speed up, so. Uh, I don't think I've got any left. Um, I mean, luckily I've got Latinum from the packs that I've bought. Um, I did have speed ups, but obviously getting to this level, I've used up a lot of them. And trying to place in the solo events that go on each day. Um, I've luckily won, I think, about two of those. Um, so I've got my Latinum out of that to be able to use for my speed ups or my repairs. But then again, if I wasn't coming in first place, I wouldn't be having that to be able to do the speed up repairs. Yeah. And the only reason I've become first in that is because I've been spending money. So those players that aren't spending money and think, oh, the battle pass is a good idea and buy it, then found out, oh. So what is the future here for the battle pass? Um, obviously, you have the people who are buying into the battle pass, and then you have people who are, buying, who are not buying into the battle pass. Um, and obviously, like, all these tiers are going up. But, you know, where do you see the battle pass going um, in the future, especially for lower levels? Honestly, it's definitely a good idea to um, get into it, especially uh, even if you're a free-to-play player. Uh, getting uh, do it, well, doing the battle pass on itself because it's a free battle pass. You get the event rewards per day, say the hunt events. You get the rewards for that, but then you also get your battle pass uh, rewards. Putting in what's it, twenty dollars for the basic battle pass, um, yeah. uh, like top up to be able to get the elite pass. Just that, if you're willing to put that twenty dollars in. But the only thing is, you need to make sure that you are doing these dailies. And when it comes to the hunt events, or even um, the, the, the the events where you need to power um, yourself up by increasing modules, research, whatever, um, that's another big thing. Players that don't put money into the game aren't going to be able to do those events. So they're going to struggle. They're going to miss out on days upon days of the um, events for each day for the Battle Pass. So then they're going to be missing out on the full rewards. Yeah, that's 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 pretty bad, and I can see that um, unless a lot of players speak out about this, like this isn't really going to change, right? Uh, I don't think there's any plans it, like for this changing, but I mean, looking how obviously there's only been a, a load of new servers like brought in recently because I when I joined my server is literally like possibly a day old or something when I joined my server, I think. Um, obviously players are going to start leveling up so by the time you know another battle pass comes out in the future they will have the strength of the ships to be able to go up you know and complete the events but the way it stands for new players right now they're going to be missing out on this and um, obviously wanted to put the money in to get a battle pass and find out they can't do it so it's, it's kind of like yes you should do it but you need to make sure that you can actually complete the dailies and even completing half of the battle pass, yes, the rewards are definitely worth that $20 that you're putting in there. And at the end of the day, $20, what's, uh, uh, say, um, a, a couple of, a, a few beers, should we say. I don't know how much a beer costs yeah. in America. A few beers. 
skipping a yeah. few beers just to buy your battle pass for something that you enjoy playing. I love playing this game. I won't lie on my main account. I completely lost interest in this game. That's why I didn't do any videos. But starting yeah. on a new server and starting fresh again is bringing back all the memories of why I enjoyed the game. So, and having this battle pass is making me want to go on every day to do the events. Whereas my main account, the events are coming up, I'm like, I really can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So it's, uh, it's a matter of um, perspective about, you know, are you going to be putting that much time into it? Then yes, buy the battle pass. If you're only a casual player, you know, you'll play for a few hours a day. Possibly not. Um, so, what have we learned from this session? Um, battle pass, good. Unless you're, say, level 17 or 18 and under and don't have... Um, I mean, to be honest, uh, the main ship that you want to have uh, for the hunt events, if you're a low level, you really do need an explorer because you'll notice that most ships tend to be interceptors in the lowest level systems of each of the faction areas. I'm not sure if you've noticed that. Uh, yeah, I did see that actually. Yeah, so most of them are interceptors and obviously survey ships. And the explorer, obviously your best choice, but... At low level, what are your choices of explorers, really? Honestly, <laughs> yep. uh, you've got uh, your Taras, which, to be honest, you can tear that up and get that up to sort of like about 20 something K. But again, you're still going to be taking that much damage. You're going to have to repair a lot. And obviously the repair times, not really going to be able to do it too much. So is the, is the way forward the jellyfish or are we looking at some other ship? Oh, well, that's another thing. You could be looking at the jellyfish. Or you could be looking at the tank for the low levels, which is the North Star. Okay, okay, that 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 throws something else into the mix, eh? Because okay, cool. yeah, I mean, people are talking about you know, um, you know, on the on the old service, you know, they couldn't find the missions for the jellyfish. They wanted it just for the collection. They couldn't get it, um, and for say the uh, North Star, you know, they couldn't get it unless they bought it. As a low level, I never bought any of these. Uh, yeah. Well, the jellyfish I bought at the start, but I didn't realize I've actually been having missions for the jellyfish. So I've actually been going doing missions to actually get jellyfish BPs. Now, if I'd known that, oh, wow. then I probably wouldn't have bought the jellyfish at the very start. But yeah. me being me, just wanting that quick boost. So jellyfish, I've now got 18 out of 75 BPs from doing the missions, and I've still got missions to do for it yet. So wow, that's, that's interesting. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. But again, um, new players aren't going to know about that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's that's why we have these discussions. Um, yeah, thank you for coming on. Sync, uh, well, for this discussion, it's been great. You're very welcome. Um, yeah. Um, so, Sync, where can people find you? Uh, well, probably in the shower in about five minutes. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, YouTube.com forward slash Sync Gaming HD. All right, cool. And yeah, this has been um, Fortis and Sync. Uh, sign off. See you guys. Toodles!